Welcome back everyone. I'm Charlie from VW Baja Bug and today we're going to start finishing up this 1956 CC engine build. I cut my push rods. How I did it was a little bit of everybody's advice. I lined the push rod up on there and put the other one next to it and put a black mark on it and then figured out exactly what it needed to be and then cut a little razor line in it and at first I tried this Dremel with this attachment on it so this would be screwed onto the Dremel and then this was adjustable and I tried these and I'll tell you right now diamond cutoff discs from Amazon they do not cut push rods I had the diamond cutter out spaced just right to where my line was that I showed you I made on the push rod tighten this down and then I could put the push rod right up against this and gently spin it and at first it made a good cut for about three seconds and then that blade was done nope that didn't work what was happening was the push rod was getting hot and it was melting this. It wasn't the Dremel's fault. It wasn't the attachment for the Dremel. I thought this was a really good idea, but the blade just didn't cut it. So maybe I need a different blade, whatever. Moving on. What I ended up doing, I went back to plan A. One thing I do recommend, if you use one of these, make sure that this is tight. There's a little tightening screw right there. You can see this thing gets loose. As long as it's fairly tight, you line it up right on your cut or just outside of the cut. So if you need to, you can grind a little bit down. And what I did from there was just use some big bits. I have one that's real flat. You can see all the burrs on it from the push rod. I'm going to use one that was a little more narrow. And I chamfered the inside of the hole. And from there, push rod into a lifter on another lifter. Hit it about four times with a sledge. Not real hard, just enough to get it set. Uh, check it. It's usually about halfway down. Hit it another four times. Good to go. Push rods are all set. We're ready to rock. Uh, what I need to do is I need to get these other push rod tubes on the engine on this side. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some mechanics wire. I'm going to put this tin on. This is a cool tin. Most people, well, I don't know about most, but people will have the little deflector tin that goes underneath here. Goes on like so. And we need to put some wire through these holes that are here and here. And wrap this around and tie it together. Let's get to it.
All right, I barely cinched it down with the drill, barely any pressure, just kind of pulling the head down on the push rod seals, making sure it's good to go. These are all still loose. Kind of went in a circular pattern. I just kind of pulled the head down. Okay, I'm gonna call that seven-ish foot-pounds. Everything's starting to give a little resistance. So now we can try torque sequence. If you haven't seen my torque sequence short, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Second round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. All the head nuts are torqued down to 18 foot-pounds. I have the O-rings on the rocker arm studs. Now we're going to put our shims in. That's waiting and ready for us to put this together do all the spacing. Alright, let's try this combo, see what happens. Got your way in here. So, you know, sorry if I bumped the camera up like that. Alright, landing good, landing good. Landing good, not so good. So that shim right there has to be replaced. So I'll pick this up, take that off, take that shim out. We'll start with a skinny, see if that works. Oh yeah. Much better. Good. 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 All right. Let's uh, wrap this up, put the push rods in, and bolt this thing down and see if anything's binding or how we're doing. Now I was going to do the stock adjusters, but since I had my crash course on elephant's feet for the 1600 engine that's in the Beetle, I have since ground these down and also kind of, let me see if I can show you, I don't know if you can see this or not, uh, these are ground down and it's also chamfered a little bit so that the, this will fit in and rotate without hitting the very inside because I had some clearance issues with clearance here because this was binding on the head of the rocker right where I needed to be, needed it to be so I had to take everything apart again and chamfer the inside of that hole a little bit in there so it's kind of v-shaped so that this will move Get this lined up. 
sleep and drop. Push rods lined up in the cups. It's together and I double checked valve geometry. We're at half lift. Bada bing. That one's straight up and down. These are just sacrificial gaskets. Now it's official. Valve cover to valve cover. Clarence, the 1956 Stroker with a 76 CB Performance Crank, 2241 Eagle Cam, 90.5 pistons. Started in October of 2024, is now complete, well, the long block is complete, in July of 2025. It has been a journey. Lots of work. If you're a first timer and you're building one of these like me, it's uh, a little bit more involved than you might think. And mostly because parts nowadays need work to fit correctly no matter who they come from. But I'm psyched. We're going to put this thing together either sometime this week or next weekend. And until then, like, subscribe, share, comment, become a member if you want. All right, everybody. Have a great night.